Good evening and thanks for tuning in. I'm Joe Sam. Topping the hour, convicted former Dr. Larry Nasser returned to another courtroom today to hear how his abuse affected even more victims. Today was the first of what could be four or more days of his sentencing hearing in Eaton County. Nasser pleaded guilty to three counts of sexual assault in this case. The victims were gymnasts at a local gymnastics club, Twist Stars in Diamonddale. Like a sentencing hearing in Ingham County, those survivors and dozens of others are giving impact statements. Chelsea Snyder has been listening to those statements all day. She joins us live in the newsroom to recap what's been said. Chelsea. Joe, we've heard from 29 survivors today, some of which have chose to stay anonymous. We also heard from a parent who spoke after her daughter. She was one of the survivors who did not want to be identified. Therefore, we won't be identifying the mother. The teen's mother stated that her daughter had been a gymnast at Twist Stars since grade school and considered Nasser a part of their family. She wanted to say she was shocked when her daughter did not want to continue her gymnastics career at college and told her to call Nasser for advice. Take a listen. One night, a week before regionals, John kicked her out of the gym for not making her routines and having a tired, bad attitude. She called me, said it was her last practice ever, no more. I told her to call Larry and talk to him about the decision. If he agreed that she should be done, then so be it. She came home, he called me, she was done. Still to this day, I do not know what was said. Still to this day, I regret that night. The mother says her daughter had previously avoided the topic of Nasser altogether and didn't plan on giving a statement at all, but agreed to speak today and stay anonymous after seeing the courage of other survivors last week. Joe. Chelsea, thank you for that. Now, we learned today 265 people have come forward to say they were victims of Larry Nasser. If he even lives through his 60-year federal sentence, he will serve his Ingham County and Eaton County sentences concurrently.